Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you are all having a really wonderful day thus far. It is the start of a brand new week and so I'm here with the latest in terms of what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas as well as for our tropical cyclone that is currently active, Tropical Storm Cindy. And so before I go into all the details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so first things first, we're starting out with this satellite imagery of the North Atlantic, and we can see here that uh, Cindy is quite prominent on this imagery, and uh, in the vicinity of the Caribbean, we see some uh, showers and thunderstorms, and that is in association with the remnants of bread, uh, and then going to parts of the Eastern Pacific and into Panama as well as Colombia, there is a lot of rainfall activity taking place there as well. But looking out in the main development region, there is a tropical wave southwest of the Cabo Verde Island. And we also see that cluster of showers and thunderstorms off the northeastern coast of South America. And so uh, there will likely be a rainfall increase as we're going to be heading into around the midweek for uh, the eastern islands of the Caribbean. And we'll be taking a look at all that is expected in terms of that. But firstly, we want to take a closer look at what is happening uh, for the Caribbean. So there we have it. Lots of showers and thunderstorms in association with the remnants of Brett. And it would be absolutely amazing if these remnants remnants were a little bit more north in latitude where Jamaica could be receiving some more rainfall and unfortunately there isn't a whole lot of rain that is likely as we're going to be progressing through today but it is a pretty overcast morning across some sections of the island the remnants should make their way towards Central America and enhance the weather there. But across other areas such as Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, there is some activity noted and also for parts of Panama and going to Colombia. But across most other areas of the Caribbean, there isn't much taking place right now. And so uh, taking a closer look at Northern South America, there we have all that activity, some of which is uh, moving in. And uh, there we can even see a lot of that deep convection on a, uh, at a closer look across some parts of Colombia and uh, even Panama. So that is where we find lots of rainfall activity. And so guys, we want to now go ahead and take a look at what is happening with Cindy. So here we have the uh, cyclone on satellite imagery here and uh, it is still a bit lopsided thanks to the wind shear. And uh, going on to the latest cone forecast, we're seeing here where uh, Cindy is expected to dissipate as we're going to be heading into tomorrow. So uh, the maximum sustained winds out, uh, as of now are 50 miles per hour and the cyclone is accelerating to the northwest at 21 miles per hour. Now even though we see that Cindy might dissipate tomorrow, the remnants could regenerate uh, when the system makes its way into a region of more conducive wind shear, but it could bring some impacts to Bermuda uh, in in terms of some rough seas, even some rainfall and those uh, strong winds as well. So uh, looking at the model intensity guidance here, we can see that most models are showing this, that hey, it is going to be uh, decreasing in intensity, but take a look at this. As we head further out in time, uh, we see them uh, expecting some intensification of whatever is left of Cindy. And so let's wait and see what's going to be happening with that, but models have been pretty consistent about that outcome for some time now. And in terms of the track guidance, models are kind of an agreement for the most part uh, for the next uh, say 48 hours or so but then they kind of spread out uh, and there's Bermuda right there so the cyclone couldn't be close enough to result in the aforementioned impacts in Bermuda and so now guys I want to take you to the rainfall increase that is possible across the Caribbean and as we look at this map here, this is the surface chart forecast for the next 72 hours going to June 28th. So as we're going to be heading into the middle part of this week, here we can see that a tropical wave is expected to be uh, entering the Caribbean region. And around that time, going to Tuesday and Wednesday, there could be a rainfall increase across the Eastern Caribbean. So we're going to be looking at both the GFS and Euro uh, rainfall total maps for the next 72 hours and as it becomes more colorful more rainfall is expected within the uh, different areas and so let's go ahead and first take a look at the GFS model so there we have the time right there and so as we're going to be heading into Tuesday going to Wednesday uh, there we can see that gradual increase in the accumulated rainfall expected for the Eastern Caribbean and we also see some of those uh, a lot more higher totals over in to some other areas such as the Eastern Pacific and that is because there is some consistent rainfall activity there that contributes to the rainfall accumulation 
going on to the euro model, euro is also expecting something similar, showing that more for uh, Tuesday there about Tuesday going into Wednesday. So only time will really tell what's going to be happening. There we also see a lot of rainfall across some other areas such as northern South America. And uh, by the way, heading into this afternoon, it's likely that we will see the development of lots of showers and thunderstorms across different areas uh, contributing to that rainfall total that we see. So that's something that's sort of a trend. And we also see a lot of rainfall expected across sections of the Western Caribbean, including Central America. And so only time will tell, as I said, only time will tell what's going to be happening. And I will be keeping you guys posted on all of this as it happens. And stay tuned for my updated video later today. So I'll be talking about when and where we could see our next cyclone as well as to expect as we're going to be heading into July, which begins this week. And so that is pretty much it for this update. And I hope that you found it to be informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be with the wise.